Hi everyone and welcome to a very rainy Amstrother rock pooling vlog. You won't actually see me because it was chucking it down the whole time. So I'm talking over the audio uh, later on. And we're going to be doing a 20 minute rock pooling session. And that's not because I only wanted to be in the rain for 20 minutes. That's because Amstrother is quite a rare beach. So this is Amstrother when the tide is in. And you can see that where we are rock pooling today, which is right over here, it is really, really low shore. So you only have a few minutes down there before the tide starts rushing back in. But that's always boded well for us. So let's see what we can find in 20 minutes. Here is a lovely squat lobster and some lovely triangle shaped hydroids. And there's hydroids come in lots of uh, shapes and sizes, actually. And um, this is always a nice find beadlet and enemy you can see that the tide is already coming in really quick you can see the currents that are at this this place and it really uh, it's really a really special shore because of that and you'll see why it's so special coming up this is a colonial sea squirt and you'll find a single one of them later on a rather beautiful common shore crab just chilling not really caring that the uh, sea around it is swirling but this is why Amstrother is so fantastic i have been here i think twice for rock pooling maybe three times and i have found nudibranch a sea slug a, the rarest of gorgeous little creatures every single time without fail they love the kelp down here and this little cutesy is just stunning i cannot believe something so small and delicate survives against such currents and you can look at my video before of finding one and it's exactly the same this not a different type different species of nudibranch but a gorgeous tiny smaller than your little fingernail sea slug living its life in such a harsh environment in a seemingly cloud-like pillow fluffy chilling way it's gorgeous I think this amazing little sea cloud is Oncodorus lovinii. Um, it's a group of species that kind of all look like this, but at each point in the name, they always have like Doris in it, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And they use their little feelers at the front as sensory organs to find food and everything, but they breathe through their little fluffy gills in their bum at the back. So I like to call them fluffy bums, but also they breathe through that. So. Um, it's a faulty functioning rear end. found this very very cute tiny hermit crab how small is it you ask it is this small it's so tiny oh my goodness hello baby hermit crab i love finding baby hermit crabs this is not the smallest i have found we will have to put a video together of some of the smaller ones um because they're always just so cute this next find was fantastic. It was something I just kind of stumbled across. I had only a few rock pools to pick from right at the top of the shore. And this just happens to be in one. It is a red sea scorpion. So just a red coloured version of a normal um, short spined sea scorpion. And I thought it was incredible to have this bright red coloration. A really, really fantastic find. Now, I zoomed in on this anemone to try and see if I could capture it feeding because with lots of currents moving past, things that are filter feeders or active filter feeders where they kind of help use their tentacles and things to bring um, things to their stomach 
it's perfect prime feeding time when the currents are moving so fast but i didn't get anything um with this one however i found this sea squirt now this is a mogula type of sea squirt and sea squirts are really fascinating i will do a video on it separately but i captured it feeding so um this movement here is actually it kind of expelling water out of one side and i'm going to slow it down now and let focus on the one on the right it's sucking in sand and particles out of the water and it will filter that through and um and then it will kind of squeeze it out the other end but sea squirts have a really fascinating biology where they almost mimic humans and they have like an esophagus and a stomach and it goes all the way down and i have to do a video about it because it, i could go into so much detail it is really fascinating but really cool that i could capture one um feeding well that's it from me this week uh, that was my quick 20 minute rock pooling video if you want to see more rock pooling videos learn about marine biology then please make sure to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week with another video bye everyone